Hello everyone, my name is Sophia. Welcome to my second channel. Today we're going to explore our favorite part of the grocery store. And that part is the bakery! Yay! Here we have the mini sausage bread, bokasha, mini pastry, the cheese bread, the chocolate Danish bread, chocolate croissant, the cheese croissant, and blueberry cheesecake! Yay! I will unpack them first and I'll see you later. Heating our bread. Now I'm going to share my three favorite types of juice in Albert Heim. The first one is the mango orange. In Dutch, it's mango sinaasappel. This is my favorite because it tastes like my hometown drink. And this is pear juice. Pear and sap. And it's really good but a bit sweet, I think. And this one is forest fruit, apple, and avocado smoothie. It smells pretty berry, pretty fresh. Mm. So good. It's not as sour as all the berries, but it does taste like forest. And it has a lot of seeds. Think blackberry seeds, cranberry. Maybe cranberry seeds. Second one, the pear juice. Mm. So good. It's not dense. It's a lot lighter than this one. I think if you want the lightest, it's this one. The second one is this. The lightest, the thickest. And this one... Totally in between a smoothie and a juice. A bit thicker, a bit sweeter. The orange is supposed to be a bit sour, but the mango is balancing it out. So it's really nice. My favorite drinks. First dish, we have this sausage bread, and inside is Dutch sausage. Mm. It's supposed to be oven, so it's really crispy outside, and inside it's soft. It was a perfect combination. So it's kind of like a comfort food. But I think the sausage is a bit different from American hot dog. It's not really wrapped. Mmm. So good with ketchup, even the bad one. Mmm. Focaccia! <laughs> Second one is probably my favorite. Because I like salty food, especially bread, more than sweet bread. So this focaccia has dry tomato, eggplant. No, oh, these are bell peppers. I love the cheesy top. It's like eating a pizza. So good. This type of bread is from Italy. I guess that's why they invented all different kinds of pizza. It's a bit sour, I think, probably because of vinegar. A lot of spices on it. Next one better be good. Okay. Next dish we will introduce the three pastries. Three mini pastries for one euro. First one we bought spinach roll. Mmm. O M G. I think it's spinach with cheese. What cheese? Feta cheese. Really good. So this is a Turkish spring roll. They call it burek. Pecan pastry. I have never tried this before, so it's our first time. Very crispy. Whoa. So this is honey, right? Inside. Wow, look at that. So much. It's like an apple. Apple pie. <laughs> you just smell it? So strong, the honey aroma. Oh gosh. So good. 
it immediately became my favorite among all these. They're pecan on on top, right? But you can taste it inside too. How do they make it? Have to buy. Must buy. Okay, last pastry is the coffee. Okay, let's see. I haven't tried it either. Hmm. What's the word? I don't know how to describe this. It's like a cookie. But this is also with custard, raisins on top. Very light. No idea how to describe this. I say it's like a toast with raisins and butter on top. But it's crunchier than a toast. Last plate! Yay! Oh, there are more. This one is uh, chocolate croissants. You can see the <clears throat> little sprinkles on top so you'll know this is chocolate. I like this one very much because we don't have this back in Asia. Well, I didn't see it in Asia. But I really like it here to see how crunchy it is. Ooh, and the chocolate sauce. Did you see? <gasps> Ooh. It's really a lot and it's so cheap, right? How much? Less than a, a buck. This much chocolate inside. Generous. Oh. Have you tried Nutella? It's as good as Nutella. Mm. I love this episode. And this is actually very common and popular in Holland. This one is uh, cheese. So you can see on top there's some melted gas, melted cheese. So you know this is cheese flavor. Look at this. Oh, cheese. Just Dutch cheese maybe. But in general, Dutch cheese is not that cheap. But in one croissant, they can put this much. I find it very generous. It's so cheesy. Mmm. Dutch cheese is very different from American cheese because it's a lot lighter. And I feel like it's better for your health. It's more like mozzarella cheese. Another combo of chocolate and cheese. This is actually, I like it even better than croissant. Maybe because it's smaller. It's like a Danish roll. And inside you can also see a certain amount of chocolate base. Also like Nutella. Mm. Okay, I can tell you why I like this one more than croissant. First of all, it's softer. Second of all, it feels more oily but it also smells better. So if you like crunchy ones, you choose the croissant. If you like softer ones, you can choose the Danish chocolate. Okay, the second one I've ever, I've never tried. They have a lot of different types. They have a frikandel, like Dutch sausage inside, or they even have croquette flavor. Can you believe it? But today we only saw uh, the cheese one. Also, maybe one buck. So it's really like the croissant too, with a lot of cheese. But this one is thinner. The crust is thinner. So just like the Danish bread, if you like thinner layers, then you can choose this. And also this one is a lot more salty. So if you like it more flavored, you can pick this one. The cheese bread, the gossip bread. My favorite dessert. I can't wait. Okay, let's dig in. Oh, you see how cheesy it is and the Blueberry jam. Hmm. This is heaven balanced so well. The cheese is very light. So it's made of cream cheese and uh, blueberry jam. And this crust, everyone likes this crust. We'll eat the crust now. It doesn't look as hard. Hmm. Very crunchy. It's really like a sweet cookie. Best part. I think the cake itself is not very sweet, but the bottom is really sweet. Mm. And I think the size is perfect for a small family or a small friends re reunion. Definitely not for a couple. Now we come to our final moment. I'm going to score them so you'll know which one to buy next time. Number one, it will go to the pecan honey pastry. Definitely number one. Too good. 10 out of 10. The second one, of course, the focaccia. 
because I like pizza very much. The third place goes to this one, spinach feta cheese pastry. The reason why I chose this instead of other chocolatey ones is because this one's really special to me. The rest of them are just very common and usual here. You can find them anywhere, but this one's very unique and it tastes light, pleasant, and makes you feel special. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of our content.